Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today, I wanna to talk to you about this Agilite plate carrier. Just came out last week as of the time of this recording, and it is the K0, so let's get into it. So, a couple housekeeping things real quick. Uh, Agilite did send me this carrier, although I was a customer prior to them doing so. Uh, I purchased this pincer, pincer placard and my helmet cover and, and uh, they are just one of the top tier manufacturers of tactical goods so uh, tactical gear so when I had the opportunity to check this out and start using it before they released it I was absolutely on board with that now does that that does not mean that I have a bias towards this review and as you guys probably well know especially if you're not new to this channel I am honest and thorough in all of my reviews second if you want to support the channel some easy ways to do that of course hit like share subscribe hit that notification bell remember to select all notifications and leave a comment down below it all helps the channel immensely and it helps to get second amendment type content in front of people that may not normally see it you can also become a member of the channel it's very inexpensive you get members only posts and video previews things like that uh, for a very low amount of money you can do that right from the home page of my channel all right so the agilite k0 they're probably most known for their helmet covers and k19 carrier which are both phenomenal pieces of gear k19 is an extremely popular carrier uh, and this is again one that they just released last week of this time of the time of this recording and they left no stone unturned with this carrier so before we get down to the table with this uh, this is a little bit lower profile than say something like their k19 however it is still sturdy enough and big enough that you can load this thing up for bear with all your radios different pouches uh, hydration uh, different packs uh, things like that uh, it is 500 kodura nylon uh, mill spectacle nylon has laser cut all over it a bunch of uh, a bunch of different areas of velcro a bunch of different areas of molly has a low profile cummerbund that it comes with right here and as well as their proprietary v-shaped uh, suspension system so that allows for uh, because of the way they make their carrier it allows for eight different points of suspension so that the load is very evenly distributed among your body and uh, there's creates no hot spots and i've not I've as much as I've run this in the last say couple months or so um, there's not been I've not noticed a bunch of hot spots I've not noticed I've not actually noticed being really tired of wearing it um, some of that is plate weight of course with uh, lightweight plates in it but however things on the neck on the traps shoulders and around the body I don't get any rubbing hot spots or sore spots out of this with that said, let's get down to the table and check it out. All right, so we'll talk about this in a second, but uh, as you see, I have the pincer placard on here. We'll take that off in a second. Just give you kind of a good look at the front of this thing. You'll see some numbers here. That's part of the adjustability that I'll get into here in a second, but sort of uh, just sort of a general layout here of what it looks like. So pincers off. I haven't reviewed this yet, but uh, it goes on very nice just with these metal uh, hooks here right into this vertical laser cut molly there but we'll set that off to the side you'll notice that i have two different patches of velcro here that's just because i wanted to show you that you can put tubes on this or the velcro just like they have you can put tubes on it quick release tubes or the velcro now this is just a cheap one that i bought off of amazon for the sake of the video cheap one I bought off of Amazon for the sake of the video uh, however when you order this you can order it with the first spear tubes which I'll eventually be getting on the front here you can see uh, this strapping that is sewn in real well all the way up through the shoulder straps that guarantees a very very nice uh, very nice strong suspension system there plenty of velcro here for morale patches i keep the agilite patch on there and as you go around to the back side as you go around to the back side you have very much the same thing you have plenty of room for all of your patches plenty of room for all of your gear uh, to put a a hydration pouch on 
comms, uh, any sort of a back, uh, you know, backpacks, things like that, and that good heavy strap is continued down here through the back. Now, while we're on the back, you can see here this is how the cummerbund uh, adjusts. You just slide this through, wind it up, Velcro it down. You guys have seen that sort of stuff before. And these keepers, I'm calling them keepers, I don't know what else to call them, but these sort of uh, suspension pieces that keep these from doing this too much are on there and they have laser cut molly in them as well. Now on the back here, in case you don't want to run this cummerbund, you can either keep the loops, cut them off, doesn't matter, but they have a flap here to where you can run their warrior cummerbund or any other cummerbund that uh, velcros in the back side so that is a super nice feature there it sure beats having to weave shock cord through your molly and using that for your adjustment that sucks nobody likes it um, and so very clean very nice design now as you flip this thing around it just keeps coming like they again they didn't leave any stone unturned so on each side of the plate bag you can see there's a full uh, I'm gonna say probably half and a full piece of webbing here that you can mount your push to talk to cable routing uh, or hook anything else to it that you feel the need to hook to. They really had cable routing in mind, hydration routing, things like that, as it pertained to this carrier. Because if you run even a single comms, much less dual comms, you know how much of a pain in the ass it can be to route cables from your radio to your push to talk, from your push to talk up to your headset, and or if you're running a uh, helmet, of course the helmet has this style of, their, their helmet covers have this style of uh, looping in it as well for cable management. So they really thought strongly about cable management as it pertains to this carrier. Now, speaking of cable management, that's what these are for. So oftentimes when you see shoulder pads, there'll be the little loops hanging off of it. That's supposed to be for like cable routing, hydration routing, things like that. Um, if you don't use them, they're an annoyance at best. Um, and sometimes even get caught up on other gear. So what they've done is they've included these guys that you can run in your shoulder strap. You can run it here if you want, if you have extra cable there, if you have something going across there. It doesn't matter. Wherever there's Velcro on this damn thing, you can route your cable, route your hydration, all that stuff no matter where you want to put these. Again, if you want to put it up on the shoulder strap, you can. If you have extra cable next to your push to talk or something, you know, route it there, route your push to talk cable through there and over, whatever. But um, as little as these things are, uh, it's a super nice feature that marries well with that webbing on the sides of the plate bag. Again, cable management and hydration management has been a uh, priority for them in this carrier. So opening the thing up, you have uh, a nice breathable webbing here with some padding in it on the back side. As you can see, the shoulder pads are sewn into here. So let me tell you that the, my least favorite thing about most carriers is that the shoulder pad is this big and will slide back and forth on the strap, on the shoulder strap. I love how they did this, where they have this sewn into here. It's not so wide that it's in the way, um, but and it's not so thick this way that it feels like you're wearing shoulder pads, like football shoulder pads. Now come around here, you see more numbers. And you see the numbers up here. So, adjustability. This thing has near limitless adjustability, although they do sell this in two different sizes. Each size will take up to a different plate. Um, I don't have those numbers off the top of my head, but they will be in the post uh, on my website as it regards to this carrier. So there will be a link down below 
for my website that has a dedicated post to this and all of that information will be in there as well as ways to get to Agilite to check these out and purchase one. So back to the numbers. 321 with hash marks. So you have this adjustability here. So you might need it up here. You might need it all the way down here but this enables you to, I like the, the numbers because it enables you to put it in the same spot, know that you're even on each side, um, and actually give yourself almost a measurement to what you're doing, like an inch, two inches, three inches. And then the same goes for here. So once you have Put the pad where you want it all you do is open the shoulder strap and run this here's my strap all right so run the strap until you're at the number you want here you can see there's a three two one in there as well and that really uh helps you again get it even get it re lots of adjustment in this and of course they're using this very strong webbing or strap material for their suspension now the plate bags are pretty standard i would say um i mean how how much different can you really make a plate plate bag it has pulls and I just have a 10 by 12 um, single curve ceramic in there right now. And then it Velcros back down. It fits the bag very well. There's not a whole lot of like room for the, for the plate to slop around in there. So there's no need for the extra retention straps that you sometimes find in a plate, plate bag. Now, as I mentioned, fit and comfort for this thing is very nice. Uh, it fits the body real well. Lots of adjust, a lot of adjustment. Uh, it doesn't feel small on me, and I'm a pretty big dude. It doesn't feel small on me. Uh, it doesn't feel like I'm like I'm struggling to get it to fit, uh, which is nice. The shoulder straps, as you can see, have plenty of room away from the side of my neck, and that. V suspension system really does help carry the load and that's one of the big things that people uh, tend to complain the most about when it comes to carriers is that in order to carry the load off of your shoulders you have to have this super tight right you have to have the super tight um, otherwise it just kind of hangs on your traps and nobody likes that it sucks all day long it sucks so again I'm gonna have a link down below to a dedicated post for this plate carrier uh, I want to thank Agilite for sending this out to me it's one of the nicest carriers if not the nicest carrier I've ever owned and uh, while you're over at Agilite's website don't forget about their helmet covers pincer placard and other things that they sell over there as well. Again, all top tier quality stuff. Uh, and they absolutely did not hold back on this. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Of course, Joe, go check out Agilite. Go check out the dedicated post to my website. Again, that will be in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Top tier stuff. Thank you for sending that out. Um, never had a bad product from Agilite. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll talk to you later.